All right, got kind of a strange one here for you. Uh, we are converting, because uh, they've got solar panels installed in the home, from a gas furnace, standard AC, over to a air handler heat pump uh, with backup electric. Now, they are getting a panel upgrade. Uh, we are doing that work for them, and the electrical department is supposed to be running, because the panel is not down here. It's in the garage, uh, separate. It'd be like back that direction through there. They should be running wire here uh, in order for us to add a heat kit. So we're going to be getting rid of a standard furnace coil. Line sets, you can flush those out. But otherwise, the 2-inch PVC pipe, that needs to get capped. We'll redo the return drop, um, new base for the air handler. One thing that's kind of odd about this one is there is a supply coming out. This feeds, I guess, like a sunroom in that back area there. It's like a 10-inch round supply. Um, that's sitting on the opposite side of the I-beam there. <clears throat> I don't know if it just makes sense to kind of leave it as it is. I mean, I guess technically, I'm trying to think if you could go over the beam, but I but honestly, let's just leave it as it is. It may be kind of awkward, but we'll just plug it right back into uh, right back into the side of the unit best we can. We don't have a ton of height. Overall height is about 70. Uh, it's about 72 inches of overall height. We're doing a three ton uh, TEM6. The AC is sitting right out here, uh, which we're converting, like I said, to a heat pump. It is a walkout basement. Um, it's pretty easy to get in and out here. There's the unit right there. This is just the uh, right side of the house as you pull up driveway is on the opposite side right over there disconnect it's gonna get replaced anyway but we'll have to get that mounted new one mounted and then bring a new pad out this actually has not worked i think for several seasons